my electric bill has doubled from what it was last year. When I called Florida Power and Light, the uh, lady uh, that I spoke with, which of course I don't know who, but uh, she told me I had to unplug all of my appliances. Okay. Now my issue is that Florida Power and Light. Okay, they, it, to me it's 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 like extortion. They uh, they've raised my electric bill and are encouraging and promoting me to buy a product from China. It is only manufactured in China, and that is solar panels. Okay, uh, by saying that you know they advertise okay at no cost to you. The government has approved. Well, that's not true. Okay, the uh, it is a cost to me one uh, because I'm on uh, I'm on disability, Social Security, and I do not file taxes because I don't make enough to file taxes, and that's the only way to get the uh, to qualify is to be able to file taxes. Other than that, only the rich people qualify. Now, I don't know why anyone would want to be anchored down to China to be able to provide the product because there are no, absolutely zero manufacturers here in the United States that manufacture solar panels. And they tell you that they do, and that's not correct either. That's a lie. Okay, and when I say that's a lie, they buy the equipment or the pipes from China and assemble it over here. That doesn't mean that it's manufactured here. It's still manufactured in China. There is damage, of course, done to the roof uh, when they install these things. Now, the uh, to me, what Florida Power and Light is trying to do is to charge me to do their work, is what it amounts to. They, uh, they've been manufacturing electricity since how many ever, hundreds of years. Now they want me to manufacture the electricity for them. I have to buy it, to pay for it. See, and that's not right. So to influence me to pay for it, they raised my electric bill. They doubled my electric bill. Last year, my electric bill was never over $100. This year, uh, the one I paid just the other day was $200. I'm the only one that lives here. Now, I understand the prices of things go up, but have they they go up that much? No. So they, <clears throat> but they're raising, they're raising the electric bills to influence you to buy a product that they are promoting. And they, they say that they're not promoting it. Well, it's on their website. And they say, well, that's a vendor. Well, if it's on your website, you've approved them. In my opinion. And then, of course, for them to uh, turn around and to tell me that I need to unplug all my appliances, that's fertilizer. And I clean that up a lot. Does that mean, okay, if I want to, or appliance, or well, on a watch TV, I have to plug it in first and then hit the power button? If I want to use my blender, I have to, you know, plug it in and then, and then turn it on. If I want to use my microwave, I have to plug it in and then turn it on. You know, it's it's just it's stuff that it's so ridiculous, and it's like okay, every time you turn around today, today I got a uh, a letter from them wanting me to buy an insurance package to uh, and to let me know the yeah what runs from the pole to my house is my responsibility. Well, I don't know when that's right or wrong, but there uh, are true or false, but. If I uh, if it's my responsibility and they want ten dollars a month for that, who paid for it when they connected it? You know, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty frustrating. It just doesn't, doesn't make any sense. I, you know, if, if I was to turn that around and say, "Hey, uh, I want a car, but I want them to pay for it," how am I going to get them to do that? You know, they they want me to pay for their to. to make their electricity and to pay them for it. And they want me to commit to, to China to turn my life life over to the CCP to uh for, for for something that if it was manufactured here in the United States I'd feel a little bit warmer about it, but not much. 
that I certainly don't want to commit to China. And I certainly don't want to commit to having my electric bill doubled so that I can uh, so to influence me or to pursue. If, to me, it's strong, strong on me. It's, it's strong on me. You know, the uh, mafiosa used to do that. They like, okay, you give me some money and I'll protect your business. And that's, that's, what, that's the way I look at it. The FPNL is saying, give me some money. And you know you'll get more rates. I'm a I'm a on on disability. I'm on Social Security. I make less than what a person makes on welfare. Okay, and yet they get an increase and I don't. Okay, so I'm just simply wanting to uh, <clears throat> to be able to get. Look, I've had five heart attacks, and now I've got stage four uh, uh, non-alcoholic fibrosis of the liver. So I haven't got much longer anyway, but the, uh, I just want to, you know, to, to pay it a normal electric bill that isn't double from what it was last year, because I've not doubled my usage from last year. You know, mine is exactly the same, you know, the price of things go up. You know, I certainly understand that I worked in retail for a number of years and, uh, you know, the, the cost of living goes up for many things, but my cost of living hasn't gone up to take care of their electric bill or to take care of my electric bill.